speaking from my experience, it's more easier to infiltrate into internal network once you're inside the network rather than being on the outside. Because you know we have done you know 700 pen tests uh, in the last last two years, and you know we have realized that you know whenever we are inside the network, you know getting the crown jewel is not not a big deal. My name is Rafi Baloch and uh, I've been into security field for more than 11 years and having worked in different domains starting from uh, network pen testing, web application pen testing to more of a research oriented uh, stuff such as uh, browser security, web application, um, you know, firewalls, um, you, know, you know, finding different ways to wait, different security related protections. So I'm in London right now and uh, I'm on achieving scholarship and I'm doing my MSc in uh, cybersecurity and forensic which is a one year program. Apart from that I'm working with uh, Cyber Citadel as a lead security researcher and uh, we are uh, you know contributing to some research for the community. I started bug bounty hunting back in 2012 when it was uh, not on rise and when it was um, you know uh, in its uh, beginning phases. I started uh, finding uh, security vulnerabilities in uh, you know Microsoft and you know PayPal because they were like they had like uh, uh, you know a very active bug bounty program at that time, which was one of the first bug bounty programs that uh, that was in there. And I found um, you know several critical vulnerabilities in you know Microsoft, PayPal, and in PayPal. You know I basically found uh, a remote code execution vulnerability, which for which they had uh, you know granted me their um, you know, highest, uh, you know, bug bounty, which was $10,000 at that time, which obviously, you know, by obviously today has, um, you know, increased uh, by many folds. So browser security has been um, a focus of my research since uh, many years now. And in 2016, I have uh, presented in Black Hat about several same origin policy bypasses, universal accesses and file cross attacks. and many other similar attacks that I had found in uh, during my research uh, in Android browsers. So the research I conducted was uh, a part of uh, my thesis program um, while I was pursuing my uh, master's in cybersecurity from Rifai University. And as a part of research, I have developed a tool for browser vendors and security researchers to find vulnerabilities into different browsers and especially mobile browsers. Now the tool covers a lot of uh, different categories such as same origin policy, bypasses, uh, you know, file cross attacks, uh, partial write, full read and write, so on and so forth. And as the tool was uh, compiled, we had tested uh, top 15 iOS browsers and top 15 uh, Android browsers. So when you go to google.com, you know it's google.com because the browser tells you it's google.com. So what if um, the browser says it's google.com and it's not google.com the content is being controlled by the attacker there is absolutely no way for an for a common user to know that the that uh, the domain is legitimate or not because um, as google have said in uh, you know if you look at their vrp uh, google program uh, you know their official page they have clearly and categorically stated that the address bar is the only reliable uh, security indicator in modern browsers so what if that is exploited?